So, <clears throat> we're going to do a reading on cookies and what they are when it refers to the internet are basically, you've all seen them, of course, are little pockets of data that follow you around the internet. So, for instance, I search for a story on the internet about the Russian protest. And what the cookies do is it will find something that you have been looking for and then put an ad on the new website with something that you've just searched for. So for instance, I give you an example. You go to Facebook. On the right hand side of Facebook is all the ads. And I search for this a company called I Buy Direct. That's where I get my glasses from. So there are advertisements on Facebook for I Buy Direct. I go to CNN.com on that page or New York Times page, and I Buy Direct is there too. Why? Because cookies. Cookies are just, I'm saving your information and then I'm going to display an ad on another website and follow you around the internet. So this is something Google does. They, they can turn it off at any time, but it's a revenue thing. Apple has a internet engine called Safari. Safari does not do third party cookies. And Mozilla has a thing called Firefox. Firefox doesn't do third party either. But Bing and Google and all these type of things do. And Yahoo. And they said protecting your privacy, because this is a, a privacy concern, because like I said, it follows you around the internet. If you go to footlocker.com, search for shoes and then you go to the Washington Post to look at stories there's going to be a Foot Locker ad on that page because the cookies have saved the information saying oh he just or she just looked at shoes so let's do an ad on this page for shoes it follows you around the internet so there was a proposal for them to turn it off They said protecting your privacy would be bad, bad for your privacy. This is literally what they said. <laughs> so, will they ever turn it off? Answer is no, but let's see. Now you, now it, the only benefit that I see when it comes to cookies is. It saves information so that you don't have to enter in all the time. So for instance, if you go to a YouTube and you just click on the YouTube button or you type YouTube.com and your page pulls up and you didn't have to log in, cookies are the reason you don't have to log in each time. It, it saves the information basically. Now you can go through and delete your cache, C-A-C-H-E, I think. And you can delete your cookie history, but it will make you sign in to everything that you have ever logged into because it deleted that information. So it's a time saver, it's convenient, and all that. So let's just take a look. Queen of Swords is reversed. The tower. Nine of Pentacles. It's money. I mean, 
I mean, we know this, but five of cups, three of wands. I think moving on would just cause more of a havoc than it's worth for them. So they need to keep those partnerships alive, all these third parties. There's the payouts, the Nine of Swords. Because if you ever wondered why things follow here around the internet, this is why. There's that money. The new relationships. Man in charge. Woman in charge. Politics. Preparations. It's a burden in the world. So they really do not plan on turning this off at any point. Because it causes more havoc than it's worth for them. Gotta keep that money. So, with that being said, there is something called Defense Advanced Research Project Agency. Read that again. The Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency that is supposed to I guess sort of suss out fake news on the internet. See if it'll be effective. Sounds very generic, but we'll see. Seven of Pentacles, the initial investment, Ten of Pentacles, there is the organization. Um, they do have a lot of technology on their side, so there is something going for them there, I will say. According to the article I read, like they're a lot more ahead than we think they are. And it's not just a room full of fact checkers. It's like a, almost like a government agency type of thing to where they can find out things that the general public just, I guess, doesn't know. Page of Wands, news about the actions. Eight of Wands, communications. Probably finding that fake news. Page of Swords, there it is. The fake news. Queen of Pentacles. There's the America card for me. Six of Pentacles. They start with the, um, not to reveal all their secrets, but they start with the payouts. So they follow money for fake stories. Facebook is a big problem with that too. The fear is the clinging to information, maybe even clinging to partnerships, to where if you have too much of an investment in, like lobbying, you have too much of an investment in one place, then you may not tell the truth about that one place. There's the hopes to kill fake news. 
Because this is not a Donald Trump thing. This is something outside of him. Nine of Swords. Anxiety. Behind it is the Emperor. Ten of Cups. Is your warning. Everybody's not behind that. Don't like fact checkers. But you have a secure position. It's your solace. So shedding light on abandonment. Giving up on something. Or maybe just a light around a new horizon. A world where maybe propaganda TV does not have... It will always exist because we have free speech, but... Maybe a place where it doesn't have much of a pull as it does now. The internet is such a crazy place. 